I'm Charles Somer Smith. I'm Secretary and Chief Executive of the Royal Academy of Arts. The Royal Academy was established in 1768. It was set up partly to run an art school, partly in order to have an annual exhibition, and partly to represent the interests of artists. Now, we're best known for doing really big exhibitions, but we still do what we originally were set out to do, teach students, look after the interests of artists, and hold the annual summer exhibition. We've got big exhibitions coming up. We plan about five years in advance. The big exhibition next autumn is we're doing an exhibition about abstract expressionism, uh, which will be a huge survey and of great importance. We're very, very unusual. Most people think we're funded by the government. We're not and never have been. When we have been offered government funding, we've turned it down twice, in the 1830s and again in the 1860s. The government tried to incorporate us as a sort of ministry of culture. But the artists have always wanted to be free and independent. We're sitting in the drawing studio of the Royal Academy Schools we run a small postgraduate art school, and we have done ever since 1769. It takes about 50 students, and traditionally they used to do drawing in this room. We're now one of the very few art schools where we cover the cost of fees so that we get very, very good students. Increasingly, we produce students who are tremendously successful. Lynette Yodemboki was the, nominated for the Turner Prize in 2013. She's only one amongst a quite large number, increasingly large number of students who are going on to do great things.